Let's go to Newcastle. I don't know how or oh, how you do it. You blow my mind without a word. Oh, stuck upside down. I might be dreaming. There's no way back now. Take every inch of my body. Wanna dance with you all night long. First stop in his breakfast time. We've arrived. I'd say it was the longest car journey of my life, but we went to France once and that was really long. But we're here, we're in Newcastle, and we're going to take a look around the city. I will take you with me. We've just finished our tour and that's the main media building that I shall be going to and it's right next to the car park we parked in. How convenient is that? <laughs> so this is the triple room for the or the family room I should say. Some nice artwork, a lovely bed, all your necessities, a bed for Tasha, coffee, tea, essentials. And Jeff's coat and me in the mirror. And let's have a look at our view. I think it's an industrial estate. It's not going to be great. But there you go. That is it. Out of a dirty window. Delightful. But it's a lovely day. And we've had a lovely busy day walking around Newcastle. So we've just booked into the restaurant. We're going to have some food downstairs. I've seen that there's steaks. So I'll probably opt for that. We will see. And obviously I will show you with me. Show you with me. Take you with me at the rest for the rest of the day. If I saw that again. No. And obviously I'll take you with me for the rest of the day. Tasha broke the window. No. Just off to get some snacks in one of Jeff's friend's shops, which just happens to be four miles away from our hotel. George's Filipino and Oriental Food Supply. And we're all excited because we do love a Filipino snack. So if anybody's been watching me a while, you'll know that I make sweet spaghetti and you can buy the sauce for it. And this well, is it. <laughs> Now these are kind of like wheat crunchies, but like a vinegary version. They are so tasty. And this was my tea. I had the barbecue chicken and bacon with chips and a salad. Well, we went to the store, the Filipino store, and they had ube ice cream, so we're going to share this. So this is dessert, ube ice cream in a glass in the Premier Inn in Newcastle. Well, day two in Newcastle. We've just woken up from our lovely stay. In the Premier and you can't go wrong with that, it's so cheap and cheerful. And we're now off to Whitley Bay, we're going to get some breakfast first. So obviously I'll show you, I have made some good choices, but some not so good ones too. But it's fine, because I'm away on my holidays. Oh, my thing's changed. So this is my breakfast this morning. I've got a hot chocolate with, uh, oh, there's a sausage in mine. But it's just be bacon. We can't come all the way to Newcastle and not see the Angel of the North, can we? We've just arrived. We're on our way to Whitley Bay and we uh, thought that 
it might be a bit far to come back so we've decided to do a little stop off to see the Angel of the North. Absolutely glorious day. There it is behind me. I'm such a tourist aren't I? I'm getting excited. This is exciting. Look at it. Oh my god it's really impressive. Very impressive and I'm going to be that person that has to read all about it. Of course. 20 meters, I mean. <laughs> Jeff, I'm having some fun. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Very impressive. And look at that sky. Oh, we could not have picked a better day to come visit this. Honestly, I can't tell you, this is so impressive. Absolutely amazing. So if anyone's never been, then there's a coffee station. Parking is free. There were loads of spaces. It's not even that early. It's half ten on a Saturday morning. So give it a whirl. It's lovely. Going through a toll road in Newcastle. And we're going to be going through the water. I don't know why we find this so cool, but we're going down. And now we're actually crossing the river. It's been such a long time since we've been on a toll road, but this is a cool one. Found some little fish places. Because now we've come to the beach. Fascinating building. And there we are. That's the, I'm not sure whether it's the seafront or the beach or just the sea, the... I don't know what it is, we'll have a look. Looks like a beach here. Oh, it is a beach. Oh, yeah. And an ice cream van. Oh, I'll find out what this is. What is it? Fisherman's Heritage Project. Ooh. Oh, and it's a fisherman sat overlooking the sea. And you know usually on the, the seafront it's really windy, I mean there's a little bit of wind, but it's not cold, it helps that the sun is out, it's absolutely gorgeous and lovely views. Look at us looking at all the sculptures today. Fiddler's Green. Oh, that is lovely. It says, to the fishermen lost in the cold North Sea and the winds who will be so, I'll be seeing you all on Fiddler's Green, be steady as you go. For Fiddler's Green is a place I've heard tell, though no one really knows where the fishermen go if they don't go to hell and no arctic wind will blow. Oh, is that there? And that over there is Admiral Lord Collingwood Monument. Just over there overlooking the sea. Whether we'll walk over, I don't know, but I've got blisters from yesterday because I very cleverly wore new boots. And probably shouldn't have, but hey ho. Just so peaceful. You know me and my sea. We're weird, are we? We are. I told you I like to do all the touristy things. It feels like we're good at it. Oh, we think we found the town centre stairs. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of stairs. Which is not good when you've got blisters on your feet. And there's the chimneys and a lovely view. And a lot more steps. Still to go. It's a dockyard, we think. Well, I'm guessing it is. Because it's got big cranes and things. And I'm nearly at the stuff of the steps. Yay! I did it. Well, it's like 10 more steps to go. Yay! We think we're going to the town centre. We've got absolutely no idea whether it is the town centre or whether it is back down there. Oh, the joys of being a tourist and not having a clue where you're going, but I love it. But I don't think that is the dockyard. I think that is the dockyard over there. 
Not that it makes any difference to you at all watching this video because you're not going to hear where the dockyard is and neither do I really. I'm just enjoying being a tourist. Very interesting house. It's the master's deputy something Jeff said. Rebuilt. Deputy master secretary. I'm guessing it's kind of like a lookout place, isn't it? For the docks or the port. There you go, upstairs, downstairs. The upper and lower parts of the town were linked by a series of steep stairs. They were initially populated by slum dwellings, although the dwellings have long since been cleared away. The sets of stairs still remain. Yep, I know, I just walked them. So we think that this is the river that we've just crossed to come here, where we thought there was going to be a toll road, but it ends up not being a toll road. So, and that's why there's no, or not a lot of wind here, because obviously we're protected and not completely out in the open. So there we are. That's my history lesson, well, my little lesson off Jeff today. So Tasha is now taking us to a pub where apparently there's a Brit Award. Somebody that she knows and likes. She's got a, a Brit Award in here, so we're off to have a little look. And here it is, Sam Fender's Brit Award that is now a beer pump. So we're now in Leeds, making the most of this army Tash. Yeah. Having a little look around the town centre. I'm going to have a weather spoons. So we're definitely making the most of it, although we did just get refused entry and where this because we got Tasha with us and she's 17 and doesn't have ID. And I said, even for a meal with her parents, yep, not allowed in. So we gotta find somewhere else to eat. Fresh from our trip to the Filipino store, these are kind of the Philippine version of Reese's peanut butter cups. Well, a lovely time in Newcastle. Popped into Leeds on the way, obviously got a refused entry in Weatherspoons, but that's fine. We had Hernando's instead. Beautiful sunset for the drive home, which was very, very long. And then it didn't stop there. Oh my goodness, I swear this is the longest journey ever. It looks like I've been crying, but I haven't. It's just because I'm so tired. My eyes keep watering and I've been rubbing them. We're home from Newcastle and Leeds because we did a little stop off on there on the way. And what a lovely time we've had. It's just so, so far. So we've just got to pray that Tasha picks the university closer to home now. So Jeff has just gone to pick up Tasha. We arrived back here, my goodness me. And it was, I think it was meant to be about a six hour or five and a half hour drive. But obviously we stopped off in Leeds on the way. We stopped off in, I think, one of the M50 services, was it? I can't even remember. Got back here. Um, we left Newcastle at five past one. And then we arrived back here at five past nine. Dropped off Tasha. And then Jack came in and said, can I have a lift to Cardiff? So I was like, Ugh. Yeah, that's fine. So dropped him off at Cardiff and then Tasha had obviously gone out. So Jeff has just gone to fetch her and then we're going to retire to our bed because we've got a busy day tomorrow. It's probably going to be the last chance we get to get a lot of things done in the house because I'm working Monday, Jeff is working Monday and the keys are being handed over next week. So yeah, it's... <laughs> Literally the final push. I don't know when you're going to get to see this video because I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to edit. But I might even try and get away an update out done tomorrow. What is the matter? Can you hear my dog? Her tail is wagging and flapping against the dishwasher. She's just staring at me. I don't even know. I can't even tell you what is wrong with her. She's just wanting some attention. Because you've been... Well, she hasn't been by herself because Jack has been here. But he doesn't give her attention like I give her attention. Although he has checked in and said, I'm letting the dog out. I'm just popping back because I've been out for two hours. And he's looked after you today, hasn't he? Yeah. So there we are. Let me show you her little face. She hates it. What? What? I know. I know. <sighs> yeah, so I'm absolutely... I've got a pounding headache. I think I'm going to take a tablet. I don't know why, I mean, I didn't drive the whole way. I can't complain for that because Jeff 
in fairness, did probably most of the driving. We took it in turns. I did do my fair share. So I did the first sort of hour and a bit and then the last two hours. It's crazy. You can get on a plane and fly, fly to Spain in less time than it takes to get to Newcastle. There we are. I've probably said that before because I thought it loads this weekend. Oh, I'll catch up with you when I catch up with you. Fried egg with no oil on toast with butter and tomato sauce and a coffee. Well, hello on this beautiful, gorgeous Sunday morning. Happy Mother's Day to all the lovely mothers out there. And I'm thinking of all those of you who have lost your mothers on a day like today, because that is obviously very sad and a reminder when it is days like this. So I'm off over the house today. It's potentially the last but one day that I'll have to be over there because the next day I'm over there is Tuesday. I'm working tomorrow. I swapped a shift because of all the time off I had last week. Well, the one day that I had off last week to take Tasha to Newcastle and Brighton. So, well, Brighton because I was off in Newcastle anyway, so that was fine. Um, Tuesday we got a carpet being fitted. So today I want to finalise everything before that carpet gets fitted. I'm going to be going around making sure everything that needs painting is painted, taking a little notepad with me so that I can write down things that need doing that haven't been done yet. And then the end, hopefully. I keep my fingers crossed. So yeah, I'll obviously take you with me and show you the finished product-ish before the carpet goes down. First of all, though, I do have to drop Tasha off at work. She's working this morning. A nice long shift, so I think it's half 10 till half four, which means that I can spend all that time over the house once I've taken her and I will catch up with you along the way. And this was dinner for the workers. So we had it in the garden, it was gorgeous. Just, I bought a whole roast chicken and we just stripped that, well not stripped it, but had a little bit of that with the Warburton rolls and the chilli sauce and then Doritos to pick on, gorgeous. Well it is 7.48 on a Sunday night and we obviously lost an hour last night, didn't we? So we came here at, well I came here after I dropped Tash off at work. Spent most, I spat then. I'm so sorry. Spent most of the day um, doing the kitchen. The lighting's not great because they're all the all the lights are taped so that I don't get paint on them. And I'm hoping it works. Jeff did it. Um, but we've had a day of it. So I've been in here just finishing off all around the cove in the walls and the ceiling. So it's an absolute, well, it's chaos, yeah. Look, tools everywhere. So I'm just thinking... Two more days? No. Well, one day for Jeff tomorrow and one day for me on Tuesday. So two more days technically, but only one more day that I have to be here. I'm not saying that that's going to be it because I'm probably going to have to be here after work. I'm working Monday off Tuesday, working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And that's just because obviously I normally only do three days, but I did two days last week and four this week. <sighs> I'm not uploading videos at the moment. It's really weird. It's really weird, but... I feel like I needed the time to focus and to, obviously we were in Newcastle, popped to Leeds on the way home, as you will see probably in this video or a different one, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to pan out yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's really weird. But like I say, it's been good because I've needed the time to focus, to sort this, to spend the time with Tasha and just, you know, to get things done. And I think, I think it was, was it Adele that said, Family first, video second. And she's not wrong. It is absolutely 100% family first and video second. As much as I love doing them, I really feel like I needed this time as well. So it doesn't stop me recording. I'm still recording. I'm just not editing them yet. So that's going to come. And boy, have I got a few to edit. Yeah. <laughs> It'll all come. They're not going anywhere. So I'll just put them into a week or, you know, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. You don't care anyway, I'm sure. So, yeah, that's that's me. The reason I've, I've, I'm on my own now, I went to pick up Tasha from work. I came back because me and Tasha were talking. She was like, oh, how's the house going? Yeah, it's fine. I did the painting. And then I went, I didn't clean the brushes. There's noises. I don't know what they are. Hello? Hello? The last time there was weird noises, noises, there was a bird <laughs> flying around in the bedroom. Hello? There's nobody here. It's not just me, is it? I don't know what it is. 
Anyway. Right, is it, is it, I think it's the pipes. Anyway. So, yeah, so I had to come back and clean all the brushes and the tray and everything because I just left them on the stairs completely. And I've never done that. I've never done that. Well, I've been doing all this. I've been so good. And because they were out of sight, they were on the stairs and we were like, let's go home. Off I went. See? It is it's the pipes because I've been using the hot water. Whew, there's an intruder in the house, but there's not. So I will catch up with you whenever I have my tea. My lovely Mother's Day present and card. And I'm also going to the theatre. Now I have to address the Crocs. I hate them. They're ugly shoes. But they're the comfiest shoes I ever did put on my feet. And I'm always stealing the children's, which is why they bought them for me for Mother's Day. So this is basically chicken curry and rice. Even though it's kind of separate. It's just curry sauce with chicken breast and rice. Beautiful. So here we have some boiled eggs again. 121 calories for all of them. All two and 485 for my pasta. Well, I'm over the house by myself. It's in the daytime. I'm gonna to go to the top of the stairs because we're having the carpet fitted today. Only on the stairs and the landing. So I'm gonna take a little video, well, a little shot of before and after. Oh, and there's a loose plank. Maybe I need to stop at it first, but I need to brush all the stairs down. <coughs> Excuse me. Brush all the stairs down, make sure there's no debris or anything so they can fit it. So here we are. This is the before. And I will show you the after. Well, we have a stay carpet. And I didn't even choose it. Jeff did. I mean, I suppose you can't really go wrong with grey, but it's a very nice stay carpet. And a landing. Oh, look at this. It's looking like a proper house now. Well, it was looking like a proper house. I didn't really know what I mean. Oh. There you go. I'm very happy with that. And now I need to go pick up Tasha. So this is my dinner today. It is chicken noodle soup. Well, hello, good evening. Because this evening here, I've just finished work. I'm sat outside the house. It is the day before we hand the keys over. Is everything finished? Nope, it is not. She's not having them until tomorrow. I'm in work, Jeff will be the one that's doing it, but there's still a lot to be done, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to take you in there when I go in there and I will show you, but I've come, I'm not in my painting clothes today. Look, I'm in my actual work clothes because there's mostly cleaning to do with a little bit of painting. My track record with getting paint over me is very, very good, really good. So I'm hoping I can not get a very good coverage tonight, shall we say, on myself just on the wall or wherever it is I need to paint because I don't know where it is but um yeah so at this moment in time I am not uploading videos things have been bonkers crazy just I I will go into some more detail for you so basically as you know the last time I uploaded it was going was I had I been to Brighton I'd been to Brighton I think that was my last video we'd been to Brighton we were going to Newcastle the following day which we did now, what I didn't tell you while I was doing all this is that I've actually been applying for full-time work. And the reason for that is because I have loved doing this house so much, we'd like to carry on doing it. Which sounds a little bit crazy, the fact that I'm getting a full-time job, if that's something I want to carry on doing. And I understand your confusion, but my reality is to do that, we need more money coming in which means that Beck now cannot work full-time. <laughs> no, part-time. I need to work full-time. So for the last, I want to say, month, maybe, I've been looking at sort of zhuzhing up my CV and just applying for some full-time jobs. I did a few, didn't hear anything back. And then, last week, or the week before last, I heard back from a couple of places and I had a couple of interviews arranged. Now it worked out that I got the first job I went for an interview for, full time. It's in a marine engineering company, it's still doing admin. So I'm leaving my school next Friday. So when we break up for Easter, 
I'm still officially working because that'll be my notice. We'll be going in during the um, Easter holidays just to get some things done because it's, there's so much to do before I leave as well. So I'm going to be going in to do that over Easter. But obviously I'll be officially not working. Well, I will be officially working, but it'll be my holidays. So just a couple of days here and there. And then I will be starting with my new company at the end of April. And it feels really weird. I've worked in schools for the last 17 years. And I've loved every second of it. But needs must. And this opportunity came up. And I literally grabbed it with both hands. I kind of stalked the company. Well, not, that sounds really bad. I saw an advert and I was doing my CV at the time. So the following day I went to look for it, it had gone. And then I was thinking, oh God, I've missed it. But then I thought, oh, there was no deadline on the app, on the, the advert. So I contacted the company and I said, listen, I've seen a job advertised. I don't ordinarily, you know, message the company, but I wouldn't want to let this opportunity slip through my fingers. So they messaged me back and said, just send a cover letter with your CV. And then I went for that interview last week, found out on Friday on the way to Newcastle, literally just as we were arriving into Newcastle, that I had the job, which is amazing, but really sad at the same time because I absolutely love my school. Anybody that knows me, that knows I work there, they know how much I'm getting all emotional. Hang on. I'm fine how much I absolutely love working there. I've been there for nearly six years and it is just, it's the perfect job, it really is. It's three days a week. I love it. The only reason that I am leaving is financial. So I feel like, that you know, I'm not leaving under a cloud or anything, nothing bad has happened. I just love it. But this is the next stage of me doing what I want to do. And... Then then it all happened. So I applied for this job, got it on the Friday, and then I was having an interview. Oh, I found out on the Friday as well that I got another interview. And then on Monday, I found out that I got another interview. And today I've had another offer of interview. So obviously my CV is looking okay at the moment, which is really good. Um, Because I'm not the sort of person that can go into an interview room and brag myself up. I just can't do it. But... Obviously, my CV kind of is okay, which is really good. Yeah. So the company I'm going to work for, yeah, it's, it's closer to me. It's good money. And it means that we can hopefully just concentrate a bit on doing more properties, which is what I want to do. So, yeah, that's why I suppose I've taken so much time out. I don't even know when I'm going to upload this because I'm still, it's still crazy with the house and stuff. But as soon as the house is done, I'll be concentrating more on my videos. So when you'll see this, I'm hoping it'll be in the next day or so, which that is my plan. But yeah, I just wanted to fill you in as to why I've taken so much time off. It's not just because of the house. Obviously, that is the main reason. But there's been lots of, lots of other things going on that I need you to know about as well. That was my stomach, excuse me. Yeah, so big changes are coming. What that means for my channel at the moment, I don't know. Um, possibly not daily uploads, but maybe a couple of uploads a week instead of one every day. But I'm just going to play it by ear. I'm going to see how it goes because what I have noticed, even though I haven't gone crazy, I've been not too bad actually, quite mindful at times, snacking more than I would. I haven't recorded it all. I have got some bits to show you, which I will do. Um, but I haven't recorded every single thing like I usually would just because it'll turn into a video that is three days long. And I'm sure you don't see it for three days watching me. But the plan will be to just stay on track as much as I can because my lunch hour will be longer. So I can maybe get a little walk in, get a bit more editing done at that time. I don't know how it's going to pan out. We'll just play it by you. In the meantime, I've got a couple of weeks off. So we'll go on some nice little trips. I can take you away with me. You'll enjoy that as much as I will. But yeah, there we are. So I hope everyone has been okay because it's been, it's been a crazy old time. A crazy old time. Yeah. Um, the reason for me being so emotional, honestly, is just one of the jobs that I turned an interview down for was actually at my old school. And I absolutely loved it there. But I kind of feel like 
if it's not going to be my long-term career, then I, I feel like I shouldn't be taking up a space that somebody else could potentially if they want it to be their full-time career. So that's the reason for me turning that down, which is, that was ever so emotional, really, because I'm still in touch with a couple of girls there. And it's been, it's been, well, I've been in this job now for five and a half years, so I left there a long time ago, but I'm still in touch with them. So that's really good. And it doesn't mean to say that I'm not going to see them because I still will. Just not as much as I would have if I'd been working there. So whatever I chose, whatever whatever I would have decided, even though I didn't get to the job offer stage, it would have been really, it was just sad anyway. But I've I'd accepted an offer and then I thought, if I've accepted an offer already and then these interviews are coming after, then I've got to be true to the company that have, you know, offered it first. That's kind of how I felt. So there we are. That is my news. I'm going to go into the house as soon as Jeff gets you because I haven't got a key to get in. Hi. I haven't got a key to get in. I'm just waiting for him. He's, I think he might have done a skip run or done some key cutting or done something. And I'm going to show you around this, this house, which is almost, almost finished and ready to be handed over. Sad times, but happy times as well. So I am standing possibly for the last time in the kitchen which I've given a nice little wipe over. I haven't cleaned it properly because there's still stuff to do, as you can see. So, but I'm working tomorrow. So I just wanted to take a video just in case I don't get a chance to come back. When the floor's down, I'm going to have to rely on photos or a video possibly off Jeff. Who knows? I'm really sad. Because I started it and I'm not going to be here to see the finished result. That's really sad. But there we are, I'm going to show you what we've done up till now. So this is, well, I should lock the kitchen really, shouldn't I? Or the back door. So that is the bathroom. There's no light in there. There's obviously got to be a cover to put on that and a cover down the bottom here. And a floor to go down, which will go down the same time as the kitchen. And the kitchen is done, except there's a couple of bits up here to sort out. See the little hole behind the wall and then some trunking, I'm assuming, over there, windowsills. And obviously a floor here. Living room is done. That's being covered over into like a decorative piece. Windowsill in here. And then upstairs... I think I've showed you the carpet already, possibly. Let's go upstairs. I don't know how many lights are up here, actually. But I can show you in the rooms, which actually smell gorgeous. This one is completely done and cleaned, and there's no light. Unfortunately, Jessica will bring some lights tomorrow. This one, again, is done completely, cleaned. Oh, this has got a light. Not that there's anything to see because it's just white walls with a laminate floor. But it's all, all that has to go on there. So it's not completely done. Oh, oh I'll show you the bedroom first. I'm light in here. Oh, look, I came upstairs. The window's open. And this one is done except for the windowsill. And then... The bathroom, which just needs to finish tiling there. Tiling on top of that. I've given that a paint today. Let me stand back so you can see it properly. Well, you know, ish. And the window's open over there. So there we are. The bathroom. This is going to be tiled on the top. The same as the floor. Just to give them extra, extra shelf. And then, that's it. Turn that off. Turn that off. And downstairs I go to turn the electricity off so that I can leave for the last time. Well, I'm saying for the last time. That's a bit dramatic, really, because I'm hoping. Look at the state of me. I've come here. Not a good idea. I came straight from work. I've got paint. Can you see it? Paint all over me. My trousers are covered in dust. Should have gone home to get changed. I said to Jeff, shall I go and get changed? No, there's a tiny bit of painting to do. No, there was loads. 
So I am now going to go. Well, I definitely picked the right week to not record, didn't I? I've been up since 4am throwing up. I brought myself downstairs because I didn't want to disturb Jeff. I'm back and forth the toilet all the time. Um, I've had to ring work. It's my last week next week, so I feel awful doing that. But what can you do? Well, that was Thursday. This is Saturday. I'm hoping you're still here I, and you're still with me because it's been a very long video and I didn't know whether to upload everything at once but I thought Do you know what start afresh get everything uploaded so that's what I've done so I hope everyone has been okay that you're all still watching because like I say it's been a very long video but it's been a while that I've actually been recording and just coming up here feels really nice again so I'll get back into my little routine. Like I say, what that's going to be, I don't know. But it's going to be my normal routine for now. Whether that I will need to change, obviously that is something I will find out as I go along. But it's been a crazy old week. It's been a week and a day, I think, since I've uploaded a video. But I'm back. And ready. I'd, I'd love to say ready and rearing to go. Not quite yet. But I will be. And I'm going to do a little weigh-in tomorrow because I haven't weighed. I didn't weigh last week, obviously. I've been having cheeky little checks and it's not been that bad at all. So I'm I'm not worrying because we've been away, because there's been a lot going on. I'm I'm not expecting, you know, to have lost anything. But I'm I'm just hopeful that I wouldn't have gained a lot. Or maybe I wouldn't have gained at all. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. So I'm back to it tomorrow, not today because I've just, I've not been that bad, but it's, you know, I haven't recorded or done any calorie counting for the last week. So I'm going to finish off today. But like I say, I've not been, I've still been quite mindful as well. So that's, you know, it's hopefully all been okay. Thank you so much if you did manage to get this far and I will see you tomorrow for my weigh-in update.